Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. My favorite is the pearl acrylic. Yeah. Um, I, that looks like a very fun kit. This is a beautiful uh, set as well here. The Q drum. That's 100% copper. Yeah. they You know, Q drums is really good with that stuff. I mean, it looks beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I bet it sounds even better. Wow, Want sit, to sit down? The sonar kit? Choose choose any one. <laughs> what do we got here? Cool, man. Plenty of sticks. <laughs> oh man, a march, marching snare. This is really cool, man. Wow. You can move those headphones away. Oh man, I I, I would I don't I, you know, a, a, a man's drum set is very personal, you know? Well, it's cool, it's cool. He, he already gave me permission. It's, it's fine. Yeah, man, these are, these are fun. I don't know. It's like a, a candy store, you know? Just sit down and try it. There you go. for tuning in to what i need podcast slash blog episode who gives a shit we we lost count we lost count and today we got a very very special guest his name is alejandra i already alejandro i already forgot your last name so please alejandro mercado it's it's a long name mercado <laughs> mercado mercado 
And he's he's the best damn drummer around. Everybody needs to hire his ass today. <laughs> oh man, I, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> he's he's flawless. He's 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 amazing. I mean, I didn't even want to drum after I seen you. Ah oh, man, dude, I'm serious. I didn't want to even drum after I saw you. I'm like, oh god damn, I'm rusty as shit. It just takes a little practice to get back on the horse. Shit. A lot of practice for that, man. <laughs> Shit. Well, so if you can, um, so we already talked a little bit about it. What would, um, how did, how did you, you're from Illinois. How did you come out and get started out and start this venture of the music industry and all that? Well, I've uh, been a lifelong musician starting out, you know, when I was about five years old, just hitting toys on boxes and things like that. And, you know, being in, in all these music classes throughout the years, you, it was time to, to graduate from high school and move on to, uh, uh, to, to, you know, college. So I was, I came, you know, to that crossroads of what do you really want to do, you know, for a career? And I had uh, to choose between being a paralegal EMT type of deal, the more traditional career, right, or right. Uh, go all in on on the musician lifestyle. And I mean, I've been doing music for a long time. By then, I said, "Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it." And hey, there just, we go. Just keep on keeping on with the music. And so I did. I. Uh, I didn't even go to my graduation. Uh, as soon as high school ended, I just got on a plane and went to came to Los Angeles. Just said fuck it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, enrolled in Musicians Institute and just hit the ground running. Really, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, well, I mean, shit. Did you did you at least get your diploma though? Even though you graduated? absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was. That's what I was going to say. The, like, the high school diploma, or, or the 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 uh, the high school diploma. Yeah, yeah. I got I got the the high school diploma, and then <laughs> I ended up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they they ended up mailing it to my parents. You know. Uh, uh, so I, see, I, see, yeah. I I I don't think I've ever actually seen it myself, but I also I also I also got the diploma from Musicians Institute. Thankfully, mm -hmm. uh, even though I was barely barely there. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how that how that went down, because I remember. Wait, wait, what do you mean? You were barely there. Yeah. Well, I was. I was busy at the time. Touring and all that. Well, I yeah. I tried immersing myself in in getting work in the auditions and and gigging. That's what I really came right. to Los Angeles for. Right. 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 Uh, school was great. But what I really came for was, you know, the opportunity. Oh yeah, and school, you know, the Musicians Institute really helps with uh, providing the tools to fine tune your craft. So it it, it helped a lot. Um, but yeah, it was. I remember. They, did you have to pay that back? Like what? If you didn't finish, did you have to pay that back, or did you? Well, I, I did finish. You know, it, it just I missed. I just missed a lot of um, kind of pockets, you know. I'd be gone for two weeks or a couple days, and then I'd come right back and and just get back into classes. And some of the classes, I like like ear training and and music theory. I'm like, dude, I sucked at that stuff. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how I ever passed it. You, you sucked at music theory. Yeah, I, you know, like like stringed instruments. I don't play that stuff. You know, I'm, I play drums. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Like we were just talking about, like because I'm a drummer, nowhere near him, nowhere near him. But I've tried to play guitar. Believe me, I've tried, and just like the you know the the finger thing makes me feel like I'm fucking retarded. Like <laughs> it's it's I just, tough, man. I just can't figure it out. I just. I mean, it's 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 weird. Yeah, I just 
I just can't get it. Although my dad, he he's he's been trying to do it, and he's 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 a drummer as well. Yeah, I see. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As you guys seen in the 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 videos prior to this that I showed you, yeah, clearly he's a drummer, not a not a string, <laughs> but. My dad's been trying to, you know, venture out and get the guitar down. He's he's been practicing and getting it a little bit, but still it's you know, just I don't know. I just can't like how people how Ace Freely just I just don't get it. Like any of them, man. Like, any guitarist. I don't Jimmy know. Hendrix, like it's wild. How do you do that with your fingers? Right. And then strum with the other one at the same time. But us as us as drummers, we're doing six things at once, right? We're five things at once. We're using all four of our legs, and at the same time, using our brain on what is going to happen next. So we're right. doing five things at once, right? Yeah, it takes a. I guess it just takes a certain kind of person to do music. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's that whole right brain, left brain type of deal. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think too hard about it. I'm just, I just hit stuff, man. <laughs> I try not to think too hard about it. Yeah. Well, other than the drums, if you did have another favorite instrument, what would it be? Well, hey, I wish I could play guitar, you know, because that opens up a whole other, uh, a whole other avenue of creativity because not only do you know how to play the guitar, but you could also write, you know, music, like full songs and, and that type of deal with drums. You, you can't really write melodies, you know? Yeah, well, and like with drums, you can't be like... Or can you like like you could be a solo guitar artist and sing and have a career? Yeah, drummers can't really do that. They can't. Uh, just not the same way. There's there's I a lot of. I don't know one solo drum artist that sings and has music out. Oh, well, depends. There's there's different ways to go about it. You can sing and play drums. You know, Tommy Lee's done that. There's uh, Dean Castronovo. Well, wait, wait. Tommy Tommy Lee has sang and drum, drummed at the exact same time. I don't know about about the exact same. Well, time. Well, I see. I see what you're saying. So you record one piece, then another another piece. Right, because that's how you know that's how recording is done. You, you right, kind of right. knock out the drums, and then you get the guitars, and then sing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Tommy Lee did that, and you said who else? Dean Castronovo, he he's uh, he was a longtime drummer for Journey, and he's done uh, n countless other bands. You know, Ozzy Osbourne, Bad English, and I mean, pretty much every album uh, under the Shrapnel label. This guy is a pioneer in in metal drumming, but he can also he's got the the pipes of a banshee, and <laughs> dude, it's Man. it's unbelievable. And then you you know. There's also Frank Zumo, who he he's the uh, the drummer for Sum Forty One. Yes, yes, I know him. And that that motherfucker's crazy. He's he's wild. He's, he's, he's a very he's inspiring crazy. guy. He's he's definitely crazy. Yeah, and he he puts out solo music, and and he's he's more of a he does really? he does a lot he of puts out solo music. Oh yeah, and he collaborates with with other uh, modern artists. So it's not very much of a old school traditional well, rock so and roll I, type I say of thing. I, I take it back then because Travis Barker also came out with a, a yeah. solo album. Yeah, and drummers do it, man. You know, it's just it's just a little different than uh, your traditional singer songwriter solo album. You know? Yeah. Because drummers, drums are not a, a, a melodic instrument, although they can be. It's not. It's not really the way the way it's looked at yeah like my godfather he plays he and he's toured all over he's toured with ambrosia war yeah all over the place it actually my godfather met tupac swear to god on my life Woo i'm i'm 
I mean, he's met all kinds of people. I'm one day I'm gonna get him on this uh, this podcast. But and he and I talk like every other day. But it's just hard because he's all the way doing what he's doing. I mean, ever since the gigs started opening back up after yeah. all this COVID BS, like now he's he's doing like four shows a day. It's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. And um, so that's why we haven't done it. We've been trying to do Zoom, but it's really hard to figure out how Zoom works and make it. I, I got to. That's on my part. I got to learn how to do that. Mm hmm. But um, his ass plays like a motherfucker, and he sings at the same time. That's wild. That's a, that's a certain skill, man. Again, to takes sing, a certain So person. that's the sixth thing a drummer has to do. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's, isn't, it, isn't it wild how, how the brain works, like man? Like we're a fucking octopus or some uh, shit. Exactly. It's scary. <laughs> It's scary, exactly. and to see what, and when you see somebody that's, you know, insanely good at all that at the same time, it's mind boggling. It's also inspiring. You know, it just makes you want want to be that. You know, if, at least for me, I just I see that stuff, and I'm like, man, I got I got to step my game up. You know, <laughs> it well, makes dude, you want I just to. seeing you play. I'm like, what the fuck, uh, dude, dude. I appreciate no, it. No, everybody, it's, you need to listen. That's this very kind of you, man. Fucking great. Highly recommend hire his ass today. Two thousand dollars. Hire today. me. <laughs> no, yeah. dude, I, that's that's super kind no, of you. I'm, gl no, I'm glad dude, you I'm think serious. that. I'm I really I'm serious, bro. I, that was. I, that, I, that's I really not even. It. Those aren't even the sets that you play, and you just hopped on. Just, well, well like, to be like, fair, that's it is the same setup I use. So it was it wasn't it wasn't too challenging. Well, we didn't even record you in that room. Um, and well, that drum set, the double the double kick, uh, the uh, acrylic pearl. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my that was favorite. my favorite too. Well, I don't know, man. That that Q Q drum set was pretty banging, dude. Yeah, when when my dad told me he got, I didn't I didn't even know they made copper sets. Yeah, I don't. I still don't know who Q brand is. Is that a real brand? Oh yeah. Or? I mean, dude, they they make a, they made a beautiful copper kit. They they gotta know. They gotta be doing something right. I mean, they, they're they're more a boutique company. I think actually they they. I might be wrong, but I think they're based out of California, or maybe even Los Angeles. I don't know uh, exactly, but the drummer for nine inch nails i don't know if he's still the cur the current drummer for nine inch nails um and he did a paramore album he's a killer drummer his name's i believe it's elon rubin or yeah elon rubin he's a big q drum guy i don't know if he's involved with the company besides uh, an in a uh, an artist but he really put those drums out there in the spotlight so copper is where it's at huh I mean, if that's the sound you want, you know, it's it's a cool sound, <laughs> right? It oh, sounds man. great. It sounds great. Uh, and you got a DW, right? I do. The same size as the one in here? What is that? Uh, three? It's three rack times two floors. So, uh, and then you get five, the two kicks. Six, seven? Yeah, seven. You have a seven piece DW? Wait, uh, three, uh, six, I th eight piece because then you got the snare drum, right? Oh, it's uh, all DW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Well, you know, my the snare drum because well, I know a lot of people when they buy a set, they they usually switch out the snare. I did. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, it's, like I, I you like switch it out. Pork, I like pork pie piccolo. Those are great. I love the pork pie. When I got my first set. I completely got rid of the the snare and I got a pork pie piccolo. So I know some drummers do that. Yeah. But so whole eight piece DW. Well, like like you said, I change out the snare drum. I mainly use a a, a head snare drum. Um, a head makes those um, those are the drumsticks I use. Also, they're you know the to Tommy Lee Lars Ulrich uses them. They're they're aluminum with a plastic covering. 
They're not wood drumsticks. The drumsticks? Yeah. Yeah, it's a company. Aluminum of, drumsticks? Yeah. Dude, they're, they're so durable. Dude, I swear to God, I've never heard that in my life. Aluminum drumsticks? Yeah. It's, it's, I swear it to sounds, God, I've never it sounds heard that in my a little life. weird. It sounds it weird. It does sound weird. Like aluminum drumsticks? Yeah. But they, they work, man. And, and I've been using them for a long time now. And they also make not only uh, – they, they make snare drums, but amongst many things. But my main snare drum is in a head bell brass snare drum. I love that drum, and I bring it everywhere with me. Damn. That drum's been around the world with me. Shit. Yeah. Not to say that I don't like other snare drums, but something about that particular snare drum is a – I just like it. You like high pitch or low pitch for your toms? Well, it depends. Depends what, like, what kind of music. Like, like, you know? it's like for my snare, I've always liked it high pitch. I've always liked the piccolo sound and all that. Yeah, the snare drum, what I like about snare drums is you can play with it. You know, depending on on what you need out of it, you could tune it really low and put some muffling or just crank it, you know? And same with toms, you know? You could crank them high, and you get that that response. You could play super fast, like that Pearl kit. Yeah, <laughs> or you could get that that lower drum sound, like the Q drum set. You know, and those are bigger sizes. It's easier to get um, <clears throat> a thuddier, lower pitch sound with the bigger sizes. I think. So. Mm. Damn. Yeah, man. <laughs> Drums. Well, what about Warp Tour? I definitely want to hear about that. Please say everything about Warp Tour because Warp Tour must have been fucking crazy. Yeah, it's a it's a circus every day. Every day is um, everybody's got to be there at the same time. Um, everyone gets the it's it's an equal opportunity type of deal. The way it's run, so. Unless, you know, I'm guessing if, if you're one of the main headliners of the night, you get you have your secured spot, I'm sure. But everyone else, it's, it's just luck of the draw. You know, you, 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 every day you go in not knowing what time you're going to play. Really? And it's, it's just, yeah, it's just, it just keeps you on your toes. It's, it's really cool. The way, the way it's run, it's just everyone's kind of on the same page. And you really get to... It, to meet everybody that you you want to meet, especially as if you're playing, you get you get to go. And your band played. Yeah, the world over. There we go. The world over. Everybody, go look that up immediately. The world. Yes, over. please. Yes. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share, all all that. Share it to your aunties, brothers, nephews, nieces, cats, dogs, puppies. grandma, grandpa. Don't forget them too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> grandma grandpa yep yeah so it, it's yeah crazy. it's cool and you know you're playing under the, the the hot sun and you know sometimes it might rain or whatever have you it's, it's just awesome to to be in that type of environment it's just kind of a free-for-all vibe you know I it's wanna, not like uh, most traditional festivals like, like, how did you get to the level where Warp Tour was like, we want you? Well, I, I you know, I'm not even, ah, man, I, I can't say that it was, it, it was like that. I, I, to be honest, I don't even know our, the world over singer got us on Warp Tour. She, she pulled, uh some strings with some, some connections. And, and so she got, she was able to, to land the band a, a spot on warp tour, which is awesome. But man, there's, there is a variety of, of bands at all different calibers th that play it. You don't have to be, you know, simple plan or um, something like that to, to be able to play warp tour. I think you just kind of, have to make the right moves and hit up, you know, a couple people, you know. Like, so do you have an agent? 
the world over, the band has their team. Uh-huh. Personally, no, I am the agent for myself. So, right, right, right. Yeah, but the the band, yes. I see, I see, I see. Well, what is I want to ask? What is the most craziest fucked up situation that has ever happened playing live? And what's the best situation that's ever happened playing live? Oh man. The worst, the worst situation, and I, I know it's nowhere compared to you. The worst situation I ever had playing live is when I was drumming. My my kicker went through the the damn head, and I had to call for my roadie over and over and over and fixed it out. Oh man! Tired. All right, like playing situations, man. I've had every nightmare under the sun, including busting through <laughs> a drum head, whether. Your kick drum, your your kick drum and your snare drum. When you bust through any of those two, you're in trouble. You know the toms. Uh-huh. You could kind of get away with it, but yeah, I've been there, and it's always, man. Throughout the years, you just kind of learn how to fool, like bulletproof your your drum set. You know, like I got like the little tools in case the the snare drum head breaks. If if I if it if I if the situation allows it, I'll have a second snare drum just ready to go or else I'll have like a patch that you put over the rip so you could still play. And same thing with the bass drum. Although you can't carry a, a second bass drum, I carry like patches. So in case I, I bust through it, I just put a, a thick patch on it and you're ready to go. Does it still tune the same way though? I don't think that you're, you're going to get the same, um, the same result as a as a good, you know, intact drum head, right, but right, but it'll right, get right. you through the set, you know. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what that's what those things are for. It's to really just kind of help you get from point A to point B in case of those situations. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But man, I've had I've had the spring go out on me on my kick pedal, and had to tie it with um, with someone's hair tie. Like a, <laughs> a, a girl had a hair tie and. And I did that, and yeah, I don't even I don't even know how that happened. Like I can't, even, you know, physics. You, you just need like pressure or whatever. And then, dude, this this is embarrassing, man. Like I've had I've I've forgotten my drum thrown on gigs. I've, drum thrown? Yeah. So I've had to like pull up a random chair, and that's not that's not like the worst, right? I've forgotten my snare drum stand on a gig. Oh, and so, you know, I get to the gig and I'm like, all right, man, I'm ready to roll. I'm setting everything up. Everything's ready to roll. And I'm, and I'm like, man, this is just the snare drum. I don't have a snare stand. And, and it clicked. Shit. I forgot the snare stand. So it was embarrassing, man, because I had to, I had to grab my drum cases and kind of prop the snare drum up. Like on the, I had to like do weird shit on the, on the cases and bend them so I could prop, you know, stack a couple of cases, <laughs> bend it. So the snare, the snare wires, um, you know, don't have any, anything sitting under it. And I played the show like that. Mm-hmm. It was wild. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, cause I'm very interested in that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been on a couple different tour buses, you know. It's like a full-on tour bus. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right up. It, yeah. It, when you, you know, when when you tour, you get to, you know, experience those types of things, you know. Tour buses. Uh, sometimes you don't have tour buses. You, you just get, you know, on like fly-in dates, you just get to wherever you're going and there's a either someone to take you from point A to point B or, um, or you just kind of get a, a sprinter van or something or a sprinter van. Yeah. Like, you know, depending on what the type of gig is, those are luxury. Yeah. Sprinter vans. Have you seen P Diddy's sprinter van? I have not. I bet he has a very nice sprinter van. He did. It's got it's got <laughs> tile floors on the motherfucker. Yeah, man. It, God, I bet he does. 
Yeah. yeah seats recline like all the way back. Oh man. Woo. Yeah. P. Diddy, I'm sure he's got all the trimmings. <laughs> he's got all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I've always wanted to be on, be on a tour bus. I've always wanted to try it out and check it out. It just it just seems just, you know, with the people you're having fun with, you're playing with, you're making money with, traveling and all that stuff. I've always wanted to venture that. Never did. Yeah, I mean, hey, hey you're, I don't think uh, you're not missing out. I'll put it that way. <laughs> so it's not as what everybody thinks it is? No, it's, you know, it's a, it's a bus with bunks in it, <laughs> you know, and, you, and, uh, and you, you, you know, you get a, a bus with bunks in it. Yeah. You, and you, you know, there's a fridge in there and basic needs. Uh, I mean, imagine, you know, you, you get, you, you're on a tour bus for like a, a month, you know, it gets, it can get, it can get a little, a little bit, uh feisty hectic you know i mean not feisty you know you you, you generally want to get along with your mates but uh it, it just you know you 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 want to be able to kind of you know stretch a little bit and and kind of have a little bit of privacy or at times or but that's why you got to really get along with with the the folks that you're on the road with because if things get personal you know you're, you're you're living with the same people for you know for every minute of the day. You and know? you've done that. You've yeah. done a, a month tour bus. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's it, yeah, it is fun, but you know, like like I said, it's just um, I like taking you know a couple. You know, it's it's nice to have a break between a long tour. You know, you can take what's the longest days you've been on the road? I think like a month at a time. You know, you come back home, then you go out for another month, maybe two weeks or God whatever damn. it may be. Yeah. I mean, it, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. And I'm just saying it gets country? a little cramped. Yes. See, this man, you want to tell him your age? I'm uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm 29. 29 already been doing all of this shit and even been out the country. God dang, that's impressive as uh, fuck, dude. Uh, it really is. It really is. There's so many musicians, artists, rappers, whatever it is that, dude. That's I, I appreciate that, man. And it, it's it's I. I it's it's cool you think so uh i i don't know if, if it's just me it's just the type of the, the way i am but man it, 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 you put it in when you put it like that you're humble yeah. you're humble well it, it's 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 true when you put it like that there are so many artists out there that wish to to do anything like that but to me i just feel like it's crazy like i feel like i haven't done much at all cuz but that's like i think that's just kind of me always wanting to to push myself, you know, I, I want to out outdo my myself every time. So it's never enough, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just chasing never. chasing the musical dragon, you know. <laughs> Always chasing the musical dragon. Yeah, <laughs> puff the magic dragon. Yeah, man. Oh man, that's crazy. The only other person I know. Is my godfather, because he's been all over the place. He's been he's he's like sixty seven, I think. Wow. He's he's the one I told you about Ambrosia War. Yeah. Renegade Posse. Yeah, you got to get him on here, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm definitely trying to. Uh, his ass been to Tahiti. He swam in the Amazon River with piranhas. Ooh. Like like he he's been all over. He was in Japan for like three months. Like he's he's toured, and he's a drummer too. And it's it's just it's just crazy, man. Like like you don't really hear those stories. And 
dude, I'm I'm so excited that you're on right now because number one, you are fucking flawless. Even though I know he says it's whatever, but no, he's fucking flawless. Did you guys not just see the video I sh I showed in the beginning? <laughs> that was him. That yeah. I mean, fuck, you're you're on beast mode. Uh, I mean, thanks, man. And the only thing I would say is fucking just fucking keep going. Pushing, 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 yeah. pushing. That's have you thought about doing your own uh, solo? No way, man. I'm just essentially just getting started. I'm, there's no way. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could. It's just I'm not. That's that's not what I want to do right now. You know, maybe. I, I I guess if if I ever did, it wouldn't be like you know me trying to play guitar and, and all the instruments and sing on it you know it, it it'd be more of like a i don't know like a drum show type of deal i don't know maybe that's just me right now who knows 10 years from now what uh ideas i might have but no right now that's not that's not the direction i want to go solo thing I'm, I'm not i'm nobody to do a solo record I, i'd be the only one to ever hear it <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta create that. You gotta create that audience. Yeah, you gotta create that audience. I, I guess I mean, so. I guess I'm just too lazy to <laughs> to create the the audience and do all that. I personally enjoy being a a uh, kind of a, a hired gun type of guy, and uh, and I like being in in in. You have business a band. cards and stuff like that. Um. No, no, I don't have business cards. But uh, if anyone ever needs me, you know, I, I'm pretty easy to find on on the internet. So, I mean, I think anybody is these days. I don't, I don't even know if you need business cards anymore. Maybe it might make you stand out. Sometimes I still see people. You know, you meet them and then they're like, "Yeah, oh, here, here's my business card." It's like cool and you do actually remember that so i guess i do that yeah i, I guess maybe i, I, I do that in fact i'm gonna give you my business give card business right cards. now we'll give it to you right now awesome yeah see like, like and you don't forget this transaction right here oh right on and and you looks yeah it looks crisp looks i don't know yeah, there we go nice font uh they have already seen it crisp many many times thanks man yeah, I guess. Uh, maybe but those true. those those cards I only give to people that I personally meet. It's not like I'm just dropping them off at gas stations oh, no. and shit. Because that no. has my number, which you already have anyway. So those those cards, I I I, I got them before all the COVID shit happened. Mm -hmm. Like because I was I was getting ready to do a bunch of promotion for yacht parties and stuff like that, and wanted to meet like you know big 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 heads. It didn't happen because. Once it hit March 2020, everything went to oh, shit. game over, dude. It was it was wrapped. So I just got now I got 500 of those motherfuckers. <laughs> and hey, and now I just give them to people that I personally meet. Yeah. I, I won't just leave them out. out hey, nowhere. It, it, that's that's a good amount, and you're gonna end up using them. You know, just you know, COVID really screwed things up for for everyone. So it's it happens, man, and. You know, you're still handing them out, so that that's good. I think I need to give myself some business cards now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. I'm on with the internet now. I think you could pretty much find anybody, or you know, get in touch with anyone's team if uh, if you're looking to to be in contact with with an artist or whatever. You know, which by the way, guys. I will be posting all of his links in the description below. So definitely go check those out. Also like, subscribe, comment, share, as I said, always. But his his links will be in the description below. So check them out. Yeah. But I mean, one thing I wanted to ask you is other than music, what is something that you've always wanted to do? I know we kind of talked about um, skateboarding a little bit. Yeah. What is something that you always, what was that one thing that you like, 
I never pursued it. Uh, I don't know. I guess skateboarding would be it. Because I was, I was just, like, like we talked about it, I was so passionate. We, we, we were so passionate about skateboarding at one point. Um, it's just something that that just never came about. Um, but I don't know. You, I guess when I got older, it just I was just realistic with myself. It's like, oh, shit, I got a better chance of being a, a professional drummer than a professional skateboarder. Although I love skateboarding and I still skateboard yeah. to this day. <laughs> My man, bro, we're you, you both know what the I mean? exact same. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't end up being nowhere near as good in either of them, except for skateboarding. I honestly was probably better skateboarding than drumming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, but you, everyone kind of carves their own path. So what's, what's meant to be is meant to be. For me, I, um, I made, I made drums meant to be, you know, like I, I, I'm, I, I really didn't give myself much option. Um, but I, I feel like that's, that kind of pushes you a little more when, when you, when you force yourself into something so that you can't, you know, like, like I have, I don't have a, a degree in anything else, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't have anything else to fall back on. So, so I, I better make drumming work. You know what I mean? And you <laughs> goddamn are. You goddamn I'm, are, man. You're fucking drumming is fucking flawless. I, I, like, thanks, man. Um, but you were also interested in the medical field, which I find very interesting. Well, you know, I mean, uh, for some reason, you're not the first musician that I've met that said medical field is second because medical field is always something that's in need Ye yes yeah there, there's that i think also you know like i wasn't passionate about the medical field so like if i was going to do the medical field I, I wasn't going to be like a surgeon or anything like that. by that i meant you know an emt or right, something right, like that right, and, right. yeah well and, that that i mean a surgeon doctor. I mean, you talk about eight, nine years or some yeah. crap like that. God damn. I'm not that interested in the medical. That's field. a lot of fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and but it, people do it. Hey, uh, I, I got a, I got yeah. my best friend is uh, in the medical field. And I mean, he's, he's reaping the, the rewards of uh, putting all that time in. But for me, it, it's, it's like, what are you really passionate about? Was I passionate enough to, to invest that much time in it? No. I would have taken the, the, whatever was easiest, you know, and we spoke about also, I was considering the, the legal field. I would have been like a paralegal. Would I have pushed myself to be an actual lawyer? Probably not. I would have just, and, and part of that is also like when you're, when you're young, I, I was, I was grateful to have supportive parents with, with music all the way through there, there was, I was still in your life today. Oh, absolutely. And they still, they still, they got my back. You know, they, they really, they believe, they always believed in me and, and supported me with my craft. And, but with, with being their, their kid, you know, being a parent, yeah, you know, you, your kid might be good at something creatively, but it's kind of scary to think of, you know, you, you want your, you want your kid to, to have a sustainable, um, a reliable career right so i think they really i i ended up considering the medical and the legal field because you know family really worries about you and like you know we just want you to 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 uh to be um i guess wh what's the word i'm trying to, to find uh you know be able to, to to take care of yourself you know in music it's not it's not very it's not it's not common for everybody to, to go into the music field, uh, full time, you know? So, but I, I had to, I had to really reassure them, Hey, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm, it, it's, it's going to happen. You know, I'm, I'm going to make it happen. So you just got to trust in me. Mm -hmm. And, and they did. And, and now they, you know, it's, it's just, it's like, whatever, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just, it's my no, job. I, under, I definitely understand that. Yeah. I definitely understand that. Yeah, and, and I under and I understood their their um, concerns totally. I mean, shit. If I was if I had a kid, I, I'd you know 
even if he was amazing at guitar, I'd be like, you might want to think about, you know, plan B, <laughs> but it comes down to what they believe. You know, if, if someone believes in themselves enough, that's, that's really, that's the key. You know, you could have a bunch of people believing in you and helping you out, but do you believe in yourself? I feel like, I feel like that's, yeah, see, like that's see, like half that, the battle right there. That's the best combo right now. When, when somebody is die hard believing in a project or whatever they're working on, whether it's music, podcast, medical, legal, fucking you want to do upholstery, fucking yeah, who knows what the fuck it is. If they're die hard on it, the second you start trying to steer them away, is already creating doubt for them in the future for any other projects. Yeah. Especially if it's someone close to you. If it's right. someone very close to you and you want to do upholstery or mm -hmm. some shit and you're die hard, you're like, I'm gonna make the fuck I'm gonna make the fuck out of this couch look great <laughs> as fuck. You know, all that shit. Yeah. Fucking and then you're like yeah. oh. You go mow the lawn. Like <laughs> now you kind of like now you just fucked them. Yeah. You, now you, now you, you just, just took like, them down a peg. Now you just like, well, maybe I'm not that good. And and nowadays people really do be getting in their feelings, and and especially entrepreneurs. Yeah. Because musicians are entrepreneurs as well. Yeah. It's easy it's, to get discouraged. It's, it's very easy. I mean. Um, the reason I started this podcast and I, I've done all kinds of different shit. I wanted to start off and I have a big ass following on my music channel, mm -hmm. but I just, I wanted to start it from ground zero. I wanted to start it from ground zero without telling people who quote unquote know me, my quote unquote friends and just see how it emerges. Yeah. And so far it's been building up. Awesome. Just based off the persistency, going off the algorithm, that's very important to me, yeah. and seeing where it goes. Yeah. All my life, I've been an entrepreneur, creating businesses, doing music, entertainment industry has always been one of them. And when somebody would always tell me, oh, you know what, Con, this ain't going to work. It might not work. Yeah. It's discouraging, man. Yeah. That would shut me down, and I'm like, fuck. Then I start overthinking, and right. maybe they're right. Yeah, it's dangerous. Like, 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 the people that are close to you, that's the worst dangerous fucking thing anybody could fucking say to it. Somebody yeah. that has beliefs and dreams and all that shit. Yeah, that's why generally you, you want to surround yourself with with people that you know, a good support group, you know, and you, and you reciprocate that. Like you, you, you have to support them in, in what they want to do too. You know, it's not just a one way street. Uh, cause that's just kind of selfish, but you, you want to be, you, you want to believe in other people too. Um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. But like, like going back to believing in yourself, I think that's, that's what kind of makes it or breaks it if you know if you're willing to you know you, you're not going to take no for an answer no you're, yeah. you're, you're gonna make this absolutely. happen absolutely yeah because if you really if, if you really apply yourself and and really follow through with doing doing things and and finishing up tasks and doing what you need to do to get there i don't i you'll see you'll see success you know yeah Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, and I'm pretty sure, especially since. Yeah. Uh, just. Uh, people people in and out. Yeah. People come in and out all the time of, of your life. And, and it goes back to just being true to yourself and believing in, in yourself. And if people walk out on you and, and don't believe in you that, you know, personally, that doesn't stop me that per, uh, in a way that kind of, they're helping me out by uh, getting out of the way, you know, those types of people. Like, why do you, you know, if, if someone's kind of fake about it or, or only is looking to get something out of you, then, um, 
you know, why, why even uh, take take that kind of thing serious or or, or uh, get I involved with it personally? I used to take it personally because at first I like I used to always like when I created my record label, I called it We Winning Records. Mm-hmm. Like everybody, we winning. Yeah, yeah. See, and it's it's easy to the second every I had the downfall and every every single yeah. thing just went to shit. Like Jay Z says, you know, when there's bread around, everybody's around. The second yeah, everybody's around. hungry. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's easy to let that get to you, right? It just kind of, uh, I don't know. I get, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, it, growing pains. You know, you 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 see it happen a couple times, and you you just kind of like, all right, some people are shitty, and and that's okay. That's just the way the way it is. Just don't let it make you a shitty person, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know what, what what the fuck do I know, man. I I don't know. I'm just I'm just <laughs> speaking through personal experiences. I'm I'm no I'm no one to be given well, life advice. What, all right, or so let's just say, advice. if there's somebody young out there right now, yeah, that wants to go into the music industry, whether they're playing piano, drumming, guitar. Timpani, harmonica, harmonica, harp, yeah. whatever it is, what is your best advice for them? Uh, just honestly, be the best you can be at what you do, you know, um, like really try to uh, keep getting better uh, than, the, than, than yesterday. Um, make some type of growth every day. Uh, and you know, it's it, like, you're not gonna, it's not gonna happen overnight. Although, you know, sometimes look at the draws, some people get success overnight, but it's, it's a steady growth. Just yeah. keep practicing, keep, you know, have a good support system, believe in yourself most importantly. And, uh, and you'll see growth in, in anything really, even, besides music and any kind of field believe in yourself practice what you preach uh you know just apply yourself man shit (laughs) just (laughs) nike philosopher nike said it best just do it yeah oh yeah that's right just do it three words the most three popular words just do it Uh, i used to say that when i was skateboarding yeah when when I was so scared to go down a rail, man, I, I nose grind down a, a five stair rail and I just kept thinking in my head, every time I, I I went up and stopped probably about thirty times. Yeah. Just kept going up, stop and stop and stop and stop. Just that mental finally, block, man. And then finally I just said, Fuck it. Just do it. And I, finally, and I finally <laughs> did it. And I ate shit. But once I ate shit, I realized what I did wrong in the process. It's crazy. I ended up getting it. Yeah. I ended up getting it. But once I just said, just just fucking do it, dude. Just fucking do it. You're going to probably break an arm, whatever. Okay. Just fucking do it. You want to do it. Just fucking do it. Yeah. Like asking a girl out. You know how scary that is? That is very fucking scary. (laughs) Yeah, it it can be intimidating, man. But, (laughs) again, Nike, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. You'll never know. Worst worst, uh, you could get is is a no. No, thank you. Yeah, and then you'll (laughs) never see them again. I mean, and maybe you will, and if you do, (laughs) maybe you will. Say what's up, you know? (laughs) Maybe you will. Who knows? Well, you yeah, probably cares, run into them tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably your neighbor. Just, just wave at them. <laughs> hey. All right, guys. You want to say an Dude. outro? Hey, uh, I just thanks for having me on, man. Really, that's uh, I really appreciate you having me and taking the time to to talk about drums and and life and and anything. And thanks for letting me play those drum sets, man. That was that's fun. Uh, <laughs> that was really fun, and and drum sets are very personal. So uh, I really, I'm 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 grateful to to have uh, 
for you letting me play them. Yeah, man. Right on, right on. Well, definitely super glad to have you on. And by the way, everybody, so I'll have all his links in the description below. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment what you want me to do on the next episode, and we'll see you guys later. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to What I Need podcast slash vlog episode. Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs>